Hi there, welcome to the next video. And in this video, I will show you how you can filter the data within Python using the Lambda function. So I have an example over here of an attendance, let's say of a class. And over here, I have uh, seven elements within a list. And I want to filter the data to identify the above average attendance with the help of the filter and Lambda functions. All right, so what I'll do is I will create a new uh, a new object to store the output of the filter operation. So above average ATT to attendance indicate that. I will first use this filter and I want to filter with the help of the Lambda function. So Lambda X colon X is greater than or equals to 35 comma the list of object tenants all right so what it is doing over here is that within the filter operation it is reading the attendance list which is over here and then within the lambda function it is saying that return only those values right which is in the attendance function return only those values which are greater than or equals to 35 all right, so let me go ahead and execute this and let me go ahead and execute this. So no issues. Let's go ahead and see the output ABV, AVG, ATT. So by default, it will not show you the output because what it get, gives you back is the filter object. But you can easily change this to get it into a readable format using the list function because in there it is basically a list so now you have the average attendance with attendance which is above average and our condition criteria was greater than and equals to 35 so here we get 36 39 35 and 37 and rest of the other elements like 30 32 33 have been reduced so that's how uh, you can very easily uh, use the filter along with the lambda function to specify a simple expression like this or it can be as complex as per your imagination but it's just that it must meet the criteria that whatever operations you apply is basically getting applied on this uh, each of the element of the list otherwise it may give an error all right but this is a good start with which you can uh, get an understanding if you have not got an experience about uh, filtering data with the complex operations or uh, you know these kind of uh, operations where you need to specify conditions after that what i'll do is i will give you uh, one other uh, example and it is based on the length of the countries which is greater than three all right so here i have the list of countries and as you can say india us uk france germany and uae and we have countries like india france and germany which has the length greater than three so let's say if this is the requirement you know based on some textual data we want to filter the data like that then how we can do that so what i will do is count uh, underscore ge3 that means greater than three just to you know apply the or create the object so filter and within the filter as usual i'll apply the x colon len of x is greater than three so len is basically a length which will be applied to each of this element within the countries list and here i specify the countries list so let me first execute that to create this object and now if I want C O U N T countries so here is my output and if you remember I need to use the list function to get the output count greater than three and here is my list of countries which has the length greater than three so just wanted to show you two different uh, examples about how you can use the filter and lambda both on the numerical as well as uh, textual or the string data to get the desired output but uh, 
this is just to give you an example that uh, this is how you can start applying it and it can go to very very advanced like uh, it just depends on your imagination about how much complex operation you're writing over here and over here and getting the desired output from your uh, filtering and it's pretty easy uh, with that within the one line you are getting the output otherwise you have to write a function or a complex code to basically do a similar sort of an operation to keep getting the values again and again so that's pretty much about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic